Okay, this one's going to be like short and sweet and to the point and not really flashy or anything like that. I've got no little backdrops or nothing. I just heard, well, I heard like a couple days ago about Jimmy Uso being caught with the DUI for what? Like the fourth, fifth time in the last decade or so? Something like that. And I'm done. I'm done with wrestling performers getting away with these kind of substance abuse problems and then like actually being allowed to have matches and shit while having these kind of substance issues. Okay? I'm taking a hard stand here. And I said on, uh, I think it was on Solo Monsters, uh, video about this, his little short, he had like a short on his uh, podcast about it, his one of his sound off sound bites, I said that in a comment that Jimmy Uso, or what was his name, Josh Fatu, that's his real name, that he deserves the Benoit treatment, you know, he should be treated like Chris Benoit, where like, he never gets a mention ever again, and like, and matches with him. His name shouldn't be mentioned in matches and shit, like on uh, on Peacock. Which I can't call it WWE Network anymore because now it's Peacock. I ain't buying that because <laughs> it sucks. Did the free trial and I was like, bro, this is so unorganized. It's really bad. Yeah. It, in my opinion, like, WWE has to make an example out of somebody. And if... If... If Jimmy, if Jimmy Uso, I'm just going to call him by his stage name. If Jimmy Uso is going to make the decision to not clean up, and if he's still going to travel and stuff like that, then WWE needs to do something about it. They can't just keep giving him... They, they can't just... Yeah. It's hard for me to put words to this because I'm so appalled by it all. They can't just continue to give him pass after pass after pass after pass. Once, twice, sure. Okay. And then, like, you incentivize uh, them getting into rehab. You know what I mean? But this is, what, four or five times now? Since, ever since... By the way, this is four or five times since Jimmy Uso started wrestling in WWE before he since he was on WWE TV since 2010 okay Lord knows if he's gotten DUIs before then he probably has because people with substance issues like they start really early okay I, I'm speaking from someone who has dealt with this himself okay it wasn't it wasn't drinking like, I was never stupid enough to go drinking and driving. I was never stupid enough to drive under the influence and, like, be so far gone under the influence to where I'm, like, putting uh, lives at risk to where it's really messing up my judgment. I'm pretty sure, like, if I were to get pulled over in my youth uh, after a night of drinking, or not even my youth, just in, like, the last couple of years, last, uh, like, I don't know, before, like, my 30s, definitely... Yeah, I'd probably get, I probably did escape on quite a few DUIs, but I was never so far into the influence that I didn't know what I was doing on the road. You know what I mean? And for someone like Jimmy Uso, who is my age, by the way, he's only a couple years younger than me, I think, or like four or five years younger than me. For someone in his mid-30s, like, like Jimmy Uso, I'm assuming he's mid-30s, mid-late-30s, for him to get, like, at least four DUIs and be like, and not be like, yo, I have a problem with alcohol, it's messing with my livelihood, it's messing with my family, his family has a family, who has a family and has substance issues and doesn't get them fixed, like, are you kidding? Like, I'm completely single, like, I have, like, no one really important in my life, save for my mother and my stepdad, and even them... Like, I saw them, and I see them just because I want to, not because I have to. 
know what I mean? But I don't have a wife, I don't have a child, I don't have a family. And even me, if I were to get one DUI, I'd be like, you know what? I need help. I got a drinking problem because I blew a .09 or something like that. And I'm like, or even just to be like, yo, I don't want to jump through all these hoops again, man. So I just want to get myself straightened up and cleaned up. You know what I mean? For someone like Jimmy Uso to not do that, that means that he has a serious problem with alcohol. It means that he can't function in society. I'm not saying this to pass judgment on anybody. I'm saying that because it's the damn truth. It means he can't work, whether it's wrestling or anything else, or acting or whatever the fuck, until he can get cleaned up for good. And I'm not just picking on Jay, uh, Jimmy Uso. I'm picking on anyone else who decides to do this. Anyone because, because once you're an adult, your decisions you make affect yourself and those around you, no matter how experienced you are, no matter how, no matter what you're going through, it makes no difference. You know, I learned that the hard way. You know what I mean? A lot of us learn that the hard way. You know what I mean? Whether it's let's say Jeff Hardy, let's say because Jeff Hardy has this history too, and every now and then he'll he'll get hit with a DUI, he'll get clean, he'll he'll get hit with one again, and stuff like that. If you were to swap out Jimmy Uso for uh, for Jeff Hardy in this, I would have also said, yeah, give his ass the Benoit treatment. I don't care if he's wrestled for the last 25 some odd years. I don't care if he's performed for the last 20 years in WWE. Make an example out of the guy. You can go to other organizations. Does this sound harsh? Yeah, it does. It really does. And I'm not one of these, uh, I'm not one of these, like, I'm not one of these straight edge assholes. I'm not. I'm about as close to one as one can get without, uh, god damn it, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm about as close to being straight edge as one can get without actually being straight edge. Do I have the occasional drink? Absolutely. Do I make sure that I'm good enough to drive after I've had said drink? Yes. In fact, whenever I bowl, bowling league, I'll have like one or two beers after I bowl. And I'll have to wait around. I'll be like, okay, I finished this beer at 9.30. Okay, let me sit in my car until 10.30 because it takes one hour to get a drink out of your system. Just one, by the way. If you have more than one, it takes more than one hour. Duh. You know, this is stuff you learn in like junior high. I'll sit in my car and I'll be like, okay. Or I'll go to the gas. There's a gas station right next to my bowling alley, so I'll just hang out there. Okay, let me go over to the gas station, maybe get something to eat, and hang out there until I am confident enough to be to drive sober. Just because I don't want to get a DUI, don't want to get into an accident. Okay. I have that good sense, and I don't have a family. I don't have anything. I'm pretty much alone in this world. So. If someone who does have a family, like Jimmy Uso, can't come to that realization, then then he can't be associated with WWE. He can't. He really can't. And again, I'm not picking on anybody here. I'm really not. Because let's swap him out for a, a wrestler who I like a lot. Someone like MJF in AEW. Now, let's say that MJF is a decade older than he actually is, so let's say he's 34 instead of 24, right? And let's say that he had uh, like three DUIs and he's still able to perform wrestle. I would be saying the exact same thing about him than anyone else. Would it really suck to see him not on TV and not wrestling and not having that kind of, ob uh, that kind of livelihood? Yeah, of course. That's the same thing as I feel the same way with Jimmy Uso. He's currently he's, he got put into a, a really good storyline with Roman Reigns, and what did he do? He pissed it all away by hitting the bottle, and then starting to go driving. And this is his at least fourth time he's done this. You know, I'm pretty sure if you just look him up, you know, go ahead and look up Josh Faltu. Pretty sure his public record would say at least five or six DUIs. It's a lot. It's not good. And he needs help. And if the, and if it's going to be at if it, if his if the help he's going to get is going to be at the expense of 
a wide of of a, a wide swath of his wrestling career, meaning he can't even perform in WWE anymore. So be it. That's what happens when you fuck your life up. And again, I'm not I'm not a straight edge piece of shit. If you can drink responsibly and and get caught with a DUI without like, you know, getting because each of these DUIs has him like blowing like a point once like twice over the limit, you know what I mean? At least that. So point one six, point two five or some crazy number like that. But open container in his car, I think they found that too. You know, that kind of shit. Now, if you just blew a point oh nine because you didn't, you know, time things right and you were just wrong place, wrong time, then it'd be like, you know what? Pay your damn fine and just don't do it again. You know what I mean? That If I were to get a DUI, that's probably what would happen to me. I'd be like, oh shit, okay. So I gotta get something that tests my alcohol levels this way I don't, you know, this way I don't get caught with this again just to avoid jumping through all the hoops and paying all the damn fines. You know what I mean? But... It's not like that for those who have serious substance abuse issues. And, I mean, I don't like talking about my background on this channel. I want to kind of save it for gaming and uh, wrestling. Uh, but I will say that I have had substance issues. So I know I know something about this. Uh, in my early, or my late to mid to late 20s, I had a problem with sleeping pills. I would take... At first, I had to take one to fall asleep. It was nice and it felt good. And then I developed a tolerance. And then one became two, two became three, and at the very worst, the three became four. And I'm some some someone's watching over me because the thing with sleeping pills. And when I make my new channel, I'm gonna make a new channel that's about mental health, uh, very similar to Healthy Gamer. If you've watched him. Only it's going to be on a different... It's going to have a different uh, angle than his. But I want to talk about the sleeping pills real quick. The thing with sleeping pills is that... They put you to sleep at random times. Especially the over-the-counter shit like Tylenol PM. Those things work when they want to work. And... I, there's a... I've been on a few road trips in my mid to, like, in that two-year span where I was taking lots of sleeping pills, where I would fall asleep at the wheel. And all dreams about it still. Like, last night I had a dream about it, where I was, like, uh, driving home from an Uber Eats delivery, and uh, I wake up and I'm, like, 50 miles away from the exit to my apartment. I'm like, oh, my God, what in the world? I fell asleep at the wheel again. So I have dreams about this. And it was getting so bad to the point where, like, I was, yeah, I, I, I would fall asleep at the wheel while going from where I'm at now to South Florida. And I didn't really care, you know, because at that point in my life, I didn't really give a shit about anything. But I was living with my buddies, a couple of buddies of mine, and I had a massive mood swing because sleeping pills will give you mood swings. Uh, so, had a massive, crazy mood swing where I, you know, come across like a, like a little child in front of my buddy, and he leaves. He's like, yo, I don't, I'm not living with you no more if you're going to take those sleeping pills. He didn't say that directly, but he, he, but his feet told me that. You know, that's what happens when you can make, that's the best way to make decisions is use your feet. Just, just walk away. <laughs> and he did that day after I say oh well if sleeping pills fucked one of my friendships up with a guy who I've known since you know childhood then I need to stop taking these and so I gave the bottle of pills to the other buddy who I lived with with which you know thank every deity in existence he stuck around uh, and I told him I said yo if you see these in the in the place at all throw them away just Without second thought, just throw them away. And make sure I don't see them either. Like, go throw them in a dumpster. Don't throw them in the actual uh, trash can in, inside the apartment, because I'll dig them up. So, I know what individuals like Jimmy Uso are going through. 
when you have that kind of I don't want to say disability when you have that kind of thing that's when you're affected by something like that and it goes that further than how I took it I stopped after after my buddy left I'm like okay if this is gonna do I was able to draw a, a, a direct distinction I was like okay if this is gonna be like that and it's gonna be like that then I'm done because I don't want to ruin any other relationships with the substances if if Jimmy Uso has a family has a very I wouldn't say stable but a very lucrative career in entertainment and he still values the bottle over that then WWE needs to punish him and because WWE needs to do they need to sacri- they need to make the sacrifice and they need to say hey man we, we don't want you associated with our organization anymore just like Ben Wall we're not going to have your name under any of our uh, in any of our content this is your final day as a WWE performer you have a problem and the action we're taking will help you solve that problem I'd much rather have Jimmy Uso be completely blackballed from WWE and have him live to see his child grow up to become an adult himself or herself. I think he has a daughter. I don't remember. I know he has a kid. Then for WWE to be like, okay, well, we're just going to, we're going to fire you and you get some, you try to get some help and then we'll hire you back in in a year. You know what I mean? That's what they do with Jeff Hardy. That's what they did it with Jimmy himself. They just said, ah, we'll just suspend you for 60 days, whatever, that kind of shit. They should treat it like it is, uh, they should treat it like a legal substance. They should treat it like a legal substance and what? Jimmy would be on what? His fourth strike? Yeah. And again, I got nothing against, you know, I got nothing against casual use of any drug, alcohol, whether it's legal or illegal, you know what I mean? But when it takes over your life, that's when there needs to be some serious intervention. It does. And it sucks for me to say that. It sucks for me to say that about someone like Jimmy Uso who... Who the way that WWE, you know, has its performers act now, and the way that you know, with with modern medicine and stuff like that, that's allowed us to go way past our prime when it comes to something like wrestling. You know, he could easily wrestle until his fifties. Same with any other guy who's our age, his age. So yeah, I'd much rather have WWE just close the book on him completely and make and and. And, and give him the Benoit treatment. This way Jimmy can say, oh wow, well if drinking is going to give me the Benoit treatment from the one organization that's actually treated me well for the last decade and some change, then man, I, I guess I better, I guess I better get some permanent, permanent help. Yeah. I'd rather have WWE do that than WWE do what it usually does, which is suspend him for some time wait for him to get somewhat clean and give him, you know, a second, third, fourth, fifth, eight millionth chance. Don't want that to happen because I want to see Jimmy Uso live. And if he's going to have these kind of alcohol problems with these these substance issues, he's not going to live. He isn't. He isn't. His chance would be really low. Like, I don't know, like like 12.5%. Just like me when I took sleeping pills... 15 years ago and passing out at the wheel on the highway on 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 i-10 on interstate 10 going 70 miles an hour yeah i'm very very happy that i'm still alive i'm very lucky that i'm still alive and it took my best friend leaving me to teach to show me okay no more sleeping pills and jimmy uso doesn't he that can't compute to him that mean that means 
from that judgment that makes his problems worse than mine, and that really so than my, mine than mine used to be, because now I'm completely clean. So yeah. Anyway, so I've been rattling and rambling and running my mouth. I gotta get to bed. <laughs> so best of luck to Jimmy Uso, no matter what happens to him. Um, and if I was able to get on Twitter which I don't want to because Twitter's dumb. Uh, but I might have to anyways for the next thing I want to do, my next stream, my next stream project. Um, but if I could, I'd be like, I'd share this on his Twitter, be like, yo, man, you need to get some help before you can step in a ring, bruh. Because the way you're doing it now, you're, 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 you're gambling with your life, my man. And I don't think your family's going to appreciate that at all. Yeah, best of luck to him. I hope he gets the help he needs. Uh, but WWE should give him the Benoit treatment. This way, it can ex this way it can teach him a really valuable lesson and hopefully get him clean for good. Because that's the only thing in my estimation that will do that. Is that if he gets the Benoit treatment. Alright, anyways... Stream tomorrow. It's going to be Dragon Quest 1. Uh, more grinding in that. I haven't done that for like a month. It's pretty bad. I've been really busy because uh, I'll be moving to a new place. Uh, but I'll talk about that when I stream tomorrow. Alright. Take care, everybody.